That's right, I'm outside of Lucky Strike Bowling Alley out here in the shadows of Fenway Park. This is the sixth annual Flutie Bowl to strike out autism. Let's go inside and check out what's going on. This is like the most fun event that we ever do. Everything else is kind of long and tedious. This one's like short and sweet. Guys come in, have fun. And there's drinking involved, so everybody has fun. Sixth one you've done, you've done out here. Raised about $300,000. How much progress you guys have made with finding a cure for autism and you know where you're at with that? Where we've made a huge difference, start up facilities for services for families, and that's kind of been our focus. Then all of a sudden you get out and you meet some of the people that you affect, and that's where it really hits home that you're you're making a difference. You're actually gonna jam tonight. Do we expect to hear now? Are you gonna do a little Phil Collins? Are you gonna play the drums and sing? I don't say I'm smarter than that. I hide behind the drums and stay out of the way and just play. We've been together for probably 15, 20 years now. Play classic rock covers. Surround yourself with talent. That's the key. That's, that, that's a good coaching point right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Okay. Hand the ball off to Herschel Walker, Walter Payton, LT. I'll or throw it to me. Or throw it to Christian, of course. That would work. All right, listen, so this is only, only in the goal line. Only, only when it's going to be a touch. He doesn't want to catch the ball unless he's in the end zone. Well, I don't want to run either. That's the other part. Huh? Wouldn't it be cool if we could kind of do a bowling karaoke in one? Like, you got you to gotta sing while you bowl? I like that. I like the, uh, the vision that you're showing. Uh, Dirty Water was a big supporter of our event, and they gave us some good coverage. So I definitely appreciate that. But yes, the concept of bowling while singing can be done. Are you a good bowler or do you like do you need the bumpers on? No, I used to, I, I'm a pretty good bowler. I'm a lot better when I have my own ball. It sounds kind of nerdy, but I need my own ball to be good. How big is your, your is your own ball? 16 pounds. That's impressive. Oh, listen, so it sounds like you kind of know what you're doing. You have your own ball. So you got to know the bowling terminology. What happens if you get a turkey? Three in a row. Three strikes. In a row. Man. Three strikes in a row? You're you're so looking at my sheet right now. Yeah, I'm looking at You're that. so so cheating. Uh, you'll leave one. I have no idea. <laughs> that must be Thanksgiving. No, it's three strikes in a row. Oh, circle gets a square. Look at this guy. What's a Dutch 200? That's uh, two hot broads from Holland. It's like when you're going out, the meal costs 200 bucks, and you go Dutch. <laughs> what are goal posts or, or bed posts? What happens if you get those? I assume it's a 7-10 split. Oh, he's my boy's two for two! And what happens if you're bowling and someone comes up to you and says, wow, you're getting really good wood? I said, wow, are these pants that loose? I'm kind of scared if they ask me that question. Good wood means you can roll You can roll with the best of them. You know, that's good stuff. That, I'm going to take that? That's a real term. Hitting them solid, I guess. I don't know. Uh, no, but give it to him. <laughs> he did it. No, you're right. Everybody had a great time. Raised a lot of money for a great cause. All right, now, Jen, check out this form and tell me what you think.